Hello, my name is Floyd Radigan. Uh, I'm a member of the Caricature Carvers of America. So Floyd, how did you get started carving? Well, I started carving in 1970. And uh, there was this elderly gentleman, a friend of my father's, that used to come over to his sign shop. And his name was Smokey Joe Bree Miller. And he was a colorful guy. He uh, always had a little stub of cigar in his mouth, and he just had the aroma of cigars and wood dust. And he had full of stories, and when he wasn't helping my dad, he would sit out on the steps and carve all these little figures. Um, cowboys, Indians, horses, uh, and it amazed me. So I, there's nine children in my family. And I'm the youngest out of nine. And half of, half of us kids would sit in a circle in front of him and watch him carve. And if you were lucky, you'd get, get one of his carvings. So when I got out of the service, I found out he was living in Detroit with a sister. So I went for three weeks every day. And he showed me how to make a, a knife out of a straight razor, how to use a bandsaw, how to draw a pattern, a front view and a side view, and the basic tips on how to carve. And it just, I couldn't, I couldn't put down the knife once I started. And it, it's just been an ongoing love affair with, uh, with carving. And I'd have, I'd have been a sad person if I wasn't able to pursue the wood carving as a career eventually in my life. And what drew you to caricatures? Well, to tell you the truth, caricature made me laugh. If I could look at a, at a wood carving and it put a smile on my face, it gave me a really nice feeling. And since I've been doing pretty much all caricature, to see people come up and see my carvings, they laugh, they get a big smile, they feel good. They feel good not only about the carvings, but I think they feel good about themselves too. And uh, Harold Enlow really got me going. I, I tried every type of carving there was other than chip carving. And it just didn't have that zing to it. Harold came out with his book in 1975 uh, carving in a uh, caricature carving in the Ozark style and that blew me away I wanted to carve everything in it over and over and over and uh, that's it's it's just where I need to be I have a uh, have a good enough imagination where I don't have a problem coming up with ideas and that's I I love caricature what do you find appealing about the fantasy realm of caricature carving? I've always uh, really liked the fantasy side of life. Uh, growing up, my dad was Irish, and he believed in the banshee, he believed in leprechauns, and he made all of us kids like really think that they were there. Even though we didn't see them, we knew they were there someplace. And then... Um, Early days of college, I read uh, the books by Tolkien, and boy, that just opened up my mind. I didn't need to see any pictures because they were all in my head. And it's fantasy is, is my niche. Even though I don't sell a whole lot of fantasy, I probably sell more cowboys and Santas than anything else. But if it was up to me, I would, I would carve strictly fantasy. But you have to do what puts the bread on the table. So I love I, I like fantasy a lot and I think there there is a group out there that really enjoys my fantasy. Tell us what you like about teaching. Teaching gives me a way to share the gift that I have. And watching people when they first start out and everything's pretty blockish and then you watch them the more they carve with you a light bulb goes on 
and that you know they're getting it. You know they're getting the idea that the face is not flat, that it's a triangle. And once you see that start to pop in them, you know they're enjoying what they're doing a lot more because it's all making sense. And I, it just lets me share. And I, I think if you have knowledge of something and you don't share it, you're a very selfish person. And I'd rather give everything I know to people that want, it, want, want my knowledge about it. And I've been doing this for 46 years, so there's a lot in my head that I can, uh, if I touch anybody a little bit, I did my job. What can you tell me about the Everett Roundup? The Everett Roundup. Well, the Everett Roundup started, well, this year it'll be 17 years ago. And it was a group of us got together and we wanted to provide some something that people could get interested in carving without them paying a big fee to do it. So we started out with like 10 instructors. And uh, this is back then, Everett was one long barn with three incandescent lights. So the lighting was horrible. The, the tables were falling apart. It was a dirt floor. So we started off very meager. Uh, since then, uh, it has become a thing that darn near runs itself. Well, I had to take over three years ago or else it was going to end. And I'd hate to see that happen. This year we had 630 carvers there and over 70 workshops. So you could try anything you wanted. I mean, anything from wood carving to wood burning to basket weaving to quilt making. Um, so we had things for the women or anybody to do that didn't carve. Um, it just it's growing 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 and it's it's just a great format and from the roundup we have other roundups that have branched out all across the country in Florida in Pennsylvania um, in in Minnesota and uh, they but uh, the Everett roundup was the was the granddaddy of them all right after the Everett roundup we have a, a program called the Floyd Fest and this is my 20th year. It used to be called creative wood carving, but a few years ago I got uh, my head swelled a little bit and I, I changed the name to Floyd Fest. But it is a more structured event where you pay, pay a fee uh, to come and carve five days with one instructor. And I have uh, 13 different classes. Um, uh, realistic animal, realistic human, caricature, wood burning, uh, relief carving, um, canes and walking sticks, uh, fish carving, um, songbirds. So, and it's well established. And I think I've got some of the best instructors in the United States. But if you if you want to come for both of them. You've got uh, approximately 10 days that you could just have a lot of fun. That wraps up the questions. Thanks for sitting down and chatting, Floyd. It's always great to see you. Well, thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's always great coming to visit Fox Chapel. Uh, you people treat me real well. Thanks a lot.